And if we have to level up strength to wield it, we can do so later. Um, I just want to make sure I buy it right now. And I might have enough souls. How much do I need to level up again? Thou see then need 2353. Okay. Let's use one of these renowned soldier souls. See how much they're worth. Okay, those go for 800. Okay, so I have enough to level up and then... Thou seek then still buy the Claymore. Let's do... Alright, Longo's saying it is 14 to wield it two-handed. Okay. Well, as I said, still, it's, it's okay to put points into strength for the scaling anyway. Or for future weapons if I need more strength. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a point in Endurance. Always a good one to increase. Alright, is there anything I need to drop off? Hello, I'm keep So I can... Well, I, I mean, my weight's okay because I don't carry a lot of stuff because I'm naked, but, uh... Am I remembering correctly in that you can store all of your upgrade materials and still upgrade without having them in your inventory? Because I could just drop all of these off if that's the case. Um, put away the bow. And the catalyst. And the arrows. Oh, okay, Stuart's just saying he thinks that guy disappears because he doesn't go and get souls to keep a sanity, so then he disappears because he hasn't been trying to protect his soul, I guess. Okay, uh, chat saying I can go ahead and drop these off, so I will do so. Uh, Strava. I knew he showed up eventually. Let's see what he has to say. At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. Hello, King Blister Pack. Welcome nice to the stream. His subjects uh, were modest and plain. And Blister Pack mentioning so that you only need the weapon to upgrade, power. not the materials. In the distant so. southern kingdom, That's Boletaria know. was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I riff. And I am going to go ahead and kill myself because Here I don't want to be invaded. We speak of the legend of the two swords. The two swords are Dienbrandt and Solbrandt. You get those swords at the One end of the game, don't you? I want... which befouls man, or is it? And the other banishes man himself. Sounds familiar. The last oh, King Doran, King Doran holds one of them, and then the other one King you get at Doran the end of the game. Is the everlasting one, founder of Boletaria and protector of the two swords. Or does he drop both? <laughs> of course. I don't think I ever killed legend. Doran. That's a really tough fight, isn't it? I don't land, think I ever killed him. Legends are all we can depend upon. I know he's behind that door in 1-1. One -one. But in okay. the dark. All right, time to go jump off a ledge. Geronimo! Ah! Alright, we'll go pick up those souls and then we will go buy the Claymore. And I'll have to be extra careful on my way there. We don't want any big mistakes and then I lose 6,000 souls. Oh, cool. Do you have the same username on Game Revolution Blister Pack, or um, do you have a different alias on there? But uh, 
Happy to see you join us. Always nice to have more Game Revolution folks show up. Oh, should I have stayed in human form? So, yeah, what are the benefits to staying in human form besides you might get invaded and, you know. Are there certain events that only happen when you're human? I wonder if the human form factors into any of the uh, tendency stuff. That's what you mean. Oh, okay, you don't comment, but you visit the site. Alright, cool, yeah. As I said, uh, good to see you join us. Okay, I will want to make sure I don't get hit by the dragon here. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> rolled forward on accident. Come on, dragon. Alright. Okay. I was catching out of the corner of my eye that healing items do more if you're human looks like. Uh, so you can summon it in, and invade. You have more HP and you take less damage when hit. Okay. I knew the more HP thing because you can see there how my health bar is depleted when I'm in soul form. I didn't realize that you take less damage as well so that's something to consider. Gotta be very careful around these dogs. So does anyone have any preferences for what level I should do next? Because I obviously won't be able to complete it. I'm gonna go for maybe another 20 minutes or so. Um, I usually do two hours for these streams. So uh, if you guys want a preview of a particular level, just let me know. I, I seems like Tower of Latria is a fan favorite, 3-1. I, it's one of the creepiest levels I've ever played in a video game, uh, so we can check that out if you guys want, or if there's another, just let me know. Um, I'm not even really sure which one I did next when I first played the game. I might have gone to 2-2 next. Alright, is that all the dogs? Okay. Kill this last archer, and then I get my claymore. Alright. I'm excited. New weapon. A new weapon is always a big and special occasion. Hello. Let's see here. Alright, claymore. Let's do it. Thanks for right. Oh, Valley of Defilement. Oh god, I've mentioned I mentioned on a past stream that place still gives me nightmares, but it seems like uh, it seems like Latria is the choice so far, so we'll head there next. Um You know what? I wonder if I should just try to beat this level. Or not beat the level, but just you know, go through kill the uh, guys, get some souls along the way. I wouldn't be devastated if I lost a thousand souls, so. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I hit the wall. Okay, uh. Figure out I might as well maximize the amount of souls I can get here. Uh, 
up some grass in the process as well. Don't worry, Prince of Madness, there will be plenty of time for Valley of Development in future streams. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, shit, no! Oh, I didn't mean to walk that close. Oh my god. Okay, I I said I wouldn't be devastated about losing a thousand souls, but I really want to get those souls back. That was such a dumb mistake on my part. Alright, and if I go through another round of this and get those souls back, I'll ha I think I'll have enough to level up, so it'll be worth it. In that sense. Uh, so a question since we're not going to finish the first Latria level. Do the keys I pick up, does that progress stay saved if I, you know, die or, or quit the game and, and pick it back up? Do I still have those keys? I don't remember if it was a, if they're items that go in your inventory or if it's just a puzzle thing. But I do know you have to pick up keys for various cells in that level. Because if that's the case, we will at least make a little bit of progress just picking up keys before the end of the stream. Okay, they saved. Cool. So yeah, we'll, we'll at least be able to pick up a few keys. I do remember the really dangerous enemy there is the kind of Medusa looking thing that shoots projectiles and grabs you with its tentacles or whatever they are. Something, something like that. Oh, you know what? I can do the uh, second bridge and ignore the dogs again. Wait, where did I die? Oh shit! Oops! Why am I going up? I'm just kidding, I don't want to fight you, let's be friends. Please let's be friends. Oh right, I died before that last bridge. Okay. That's right. How could I forget that? Let's go. Apparently this dragon is busy with something else. Oh, dragon! Hello! Here we go. Alright, and let's run. Oh, this feels like such a close call. Oh my god. Because I can hear the dragon. That's really scary. Oh shit. Okay, we got three of them. There are my souls. I missed you guys. Stab. We're half moon grass. I did it again. Okay. We're good, we're good. Alright, yeah, now we have enough to level up again. Cool. 